I just found a crazy glitch that's going to allow you to get aimbot instead of Fortnite Battle Royale for completely free. However, before we get started inside of this glitch, I'm currently gifting my subscribers anything they like from the item shop right now. This includes free skins, free emotes, free pickaxes, and much more. If you guys would like the chance to receive a free gift from me, all you have to simply do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and lastly, comment your Epic Games username in the comment section down below, that way I know who to gift it to. Along with that comment, make sure you guys let me know what item you would like to receive, that way I know what to gift you. But with all that being said, let's waste no more time and hop straight into this super crazy glitch. So starting this glitch off, all you want to simply do is go to make way into the Fortnite Battle Royale Lobby. Once you're inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale Lobby, just as I am, simply make your way into the top left corner of your screen and simply press on these three lines. Then this tab should pop up and from here just want to make your way down to the second to last option and now just go to the top and press settings. Now of course once you press the settings button you're going to get brought to the settings section here. Once you're inside of the settings section this is where the glitch is going to start. So from here all you want to simply do is go ahead and look at the top of your screen and from here you should notice we have a video tab, a game tab, game UI, touch and motion, mouse and keyboard, controller options, audio, keyboard controls, wireless controller, and finally account and privacy. Once you find all these different tabs at the top of your screen you just want to go ahead and make your way down to the second tab which is going to be the game tab. Once you're inside of this game tab here though, all you want to simply do is go ahead and start this glitch off by scrolling down to the very bottom of this page. And from here, once you get to the bottom, we just want to find this section that says replays. Once you find this replay section, you should notice that there's a total of 5 replay settings right below it. And once you find these 5 replay settings, you just want to go ahead and make sure that all 5 of them are in fact turned to off. They'll most likely be on because that's the default, so just go ahead and change them to off. And from here, once you have that, simply scroll back up to the very top of this game tab. Once you get to the top, you just want to find this language and region section, and from here, you just want to look on the far right side of your screen after highlighting over this setting. Once you highlight over the setting and then look on the far right side of your screen, you should notice that there's this huge list of all these different regions. Once you find this list of all these different regions, you just want to go ahead and start this off by looking at any region and then just look at the number right next to it inside of parentheses. So say for example, we start with NA East, you just want to look at this number right next to it, which is going to be 23MS. Once you find these numbers right next to the region, you just want to go to make your way through every single region until you find the one that has the largest number. So for me personally, it's going to be Oceana, so once you find your region, you just want to go to remember it and then make your way back over to the matchmaking region setting and toggle through these arrows until we get to that region. Now that you have that region selected, from here make your way back up to the top of your screen and you just want to now make your way into the very last tab which is going to be the account privacy tab. Once we're inside of this account privacy tab, you just want to go ahead and change a few more settings in order for this glitch to work here. Starting this off, you just want to go ahead and find the social privacy section, and from here, you just want to start off with filter mature language. Once you find the settings, simply turn this to off. Now go to friend invite permission and simply set this to no one. Now for text chat, make sure this is set to on, and for can receive gifts, also make sure this is set to on as well. From here, make sure that party joinability is set to invite only, and I just want to scroll down to the next section, which is going to be the gameplay privacy one. Once you find it from here, just want to start with public game stats and simply turn this to off. Now for hide your display name during regular gameplay, simply leave this to on. Now for show seed level and feed, turn this to off as well. Now go down one more to allow personalization of experience recommendation and once you find this, you just want to go ahead and turn it to off. Now that you have these same settings, just go ahead and make way down to the very bottom of this gameplay privacy section and you just want to go ahead and find this hidden matchmaking delay setting. Once you find it, you just want to go ahead and make your way to the right, and you just want to either click and drag it from mouse and keyboard or from control, use your joysticks to set this hidden match beacon delay bar to exactly 10 seconds. Now instead it's set to 10 seconds from here, just go ahead and press apply, and I just want to simply press back. Now that we're back inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale Lobby, we're ready to get started with the next step of completing this glitch off. Once we're back inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale Lobby, to get started with the next step of completing this glitch off, all you want to simply do is go ahead and press change game mode. Once you press change game mode, you just want to go ahead and go up to the option that's by Epic, and from here you just want to simply select on creative. Once you select on creative, just go ahead and ready up. And now that we have readied up, we just want to simply wait for creative to launch. This shouldn't take too long, so I'll be back once this does happen. Now that creative has finally launched, all you want to simply do is go ahead and turn around. And now once you turn around, you should find this wall with a creative map on it. Once you find this, just go ahead and walk right up to it just as I am. And now once you're up to this map, just go ahead and press E to set the matchmaking code. Now once you have pressed E, you just want to go ahead and type in the exact same code that I type in in order to get into the secret creative map to get aimbot inside of Fortnite. So the secret code starts with 7026, then it's 3756, and then just 9440. 
Once you have this exact same code inside of your text chat, if you have typed it out correctly, it should say try again missing version. Once it does say that from here, all you want to simply do is go ahead and put a V, and then just want to go ahead and type the number 1. Now, as you guys can see, once you type this V1 at the end of your code, that message will go away, and from here, it now says Island Found. Once it says Island Found from here, just go ahead and press Accept. And now you guys should notice that the map behind us does now change. Once this map changes, you just want to go ahead and hover over it, and then simply hold down E. Once you have held down E, it should say matchmaking at the top of your screen, and this just means that we're loading into the creative map. Now that our map has finally launched, as you guys can see, it takes around 80 seconds for this map to auto start. However, if you want to speed things up, you can always open up your menu, go to the second tab down, and simply press start game. But now once you've either waited for the auto start timer to run down, or you started the game manually, you should now be in this exact same map that I'm in. You should notice that it's a full green room, and from here, once you are inside of this green room, this is where this glitch actually begins. So once you're inside of this map, all you want to simply do is go ahead and stand on top of this podium, just as I am, and I just want to simply open up your menu once again, go to the second tab down, and I just go to the top and press settings. Once you have pressed settings, you should now be back inside of the settings section, and from here, make your way down to the second tab here once again. And now once we're inside of this settings tab, you just want to make your way down to the language and region section, and go down to the first setting, which is matchmaking region. Now that we're back at this matchmaking region setting, in order for this glitch to work, all you want to simply do is go ahead and click through these arrows until you get back to the region that you were before, which is most likely going to be auto. From here, once you've changed this setting, you just want to go ahead and leave replays to off, and from here, go back up to the top of your screen and make your way down to the very last tab, which is going to be the Account and Privacy tab. Now that we're back inside of this Account and Privacy tab, we just want to go ahead and change a few settings back to what they were before in order for this glitch to actually work. This is kind of going to be like resetting the game, and we have to do this once again, of course, in order for this glitch to work. So starting with filter mature language, go ahead and turn this back to on. Now for brand name for permission, leave this to no one. Now for text chat, go ahead and turn this to on as well. For can receive gifts, turn this to off. And now for party joinability, leave this to invite only. Now go down to gameplay privacy. And from here, just want to simply turn public game stats to on. Now for hide or display name during regular gameplay, go ahead and turn this to off. Now for show season level and feed, turn this to on. As well as allow personalization of experience recommendation, go ahead and turn this to on. Now that you've done all these settings from here, go down to the very last one, which is going to be the hidden matchmaking delay setting. And from here, just want to go ahead and either click and drag once again if you're mouse and keyboard or front control, you use your joysticks. Change the setting back to zero. Once this bar is back to zero from here, just go ahead and press apply. Now press back. Now we should be back inside of this creative map here. Once we're back inside of this creative map, all you want to simply do is go ahead and face this sign that says use code Jarvi. And once you are facing this sign, simply open up your emo wheel and do any random emo. From here, all you want to simply do is go ahead and open up your menu while you're still doing the emo. Now go to the second tab down and simply press end game. Now all you have to simply do to unlock aimbot inside of Fortnite is you just want to go ahead and restart your game. Once you restart your game, you just want to go ahead and wait about 1-2 to two days and after waiting this amount of time, you should now have aimbot inside of Fortnite. But thank you all so much for watching today's video, it is truly appreciated and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.